Hello, hello. Hey guys, it's Kimmy, Healthy Life with Kimmy. Well, today I am making my famous kale wrap. I'm going to imitate the one that I go to Atlanta and buy all the time. For those who do not know, I am on a healthy lifestyle journey, just trying to mix up my life a little bit, get my health together, and make some changes. So there's a wrap that I love to go eat in Atlanta. It's very famous called to Silly's um, Kale Wrap. They have different wraps, and I love that thing. If you've been watching my channel, you know I've been going every weekend. And I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to go today, okay? I wanted to go today to get my wrap. But as I broke down what was in that wrap, even though it's vegan, it's really not that healthy. It's really not. Now, it's better than eating McDonald's, but when you really break down the vegan mayonnaise, the this, the this, and that, and that. It's not, it's not healthy. So, I'm going to do a different spin on it. So, I bought my stuff. So, I got these Extreme Well Wraps. One point on Weight Watchers. They're only 50 calories. I'm doing Weight Watchers, but this is low carb. My friends kept talking about low carb option. So, I'm going to go ahead and open it so we can speed things up. So, I got that. I bought, because y'all know I'm not really the best cook and don't even want to be bothered even with cutting up some kale. I bought a chopped salad kit that's kale, pecan, and cranberry. So we're going to open that. I also have bacon bits because I know they put that in their wrap. And it's vegan, so they don't use real bacon. So I got the bacon bits, the fake ones. I know they like it spicy, and I do too. So I got my crushed red peppers. I got my lemon, and I read that one thing they might use is sun-dried toma sun tomatoes, so I'm, I'm using that also. Now, this brand I got, oh my God, it's got so much oil in it. I don't know if you can see that without it spilling, not spilling. These sun-dried tomatoes have so much oil in them. So what I'm going to do is, let me see, can I put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing? Let me see, so you can see what I'm doing. So, I have my sun-dried tomatoes. I'm going to have the camera on the food for a minute because I want you to see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to use a few of those and chop them up because these are kind of big. They already in, they are sopping in so much oil. I don't know if that's normal. My husband has brought these before. Not this brand, but he's bought sun-dried tomatoes before. And they don't usually be that oily. So, I'm not going to add no oil. Most recipes that I read online... For wraps, they say add some oil, but we're not going to add any. So I poured my mix in there. This is my kale mix from the chop kit. I'm going to put my, my peppers, and I like things spicy, so I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. Do you brush your cabbage and stuff off when you take it out the bag? Let me know, because I did not. I usually tend not to, because they say triple washed. I just pray and keep it moving. So I put a lot of peppers in there, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put the bacon bits in there, too. Just kind of free willy. Put some of those in there. Because I'm going to make this mixture. And it's going to be for a couple of days. So I'm not going to wrap but one today so y'all can see. And I can see what it tastes like. Put a couple more peppers in there. Because I do like it spicy. It's looking good, right? Okay. So now I'm going to also put the mix that came with it. This is a very quick recipe. I hope it works and I like it. So in this mix, it has cranberries, pecans, cranberries and pecans. And I know they put that in the actual mix that I buy. Some other little crunchy stuff. Okay, so we're going to do all this. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I read online, everywhere I read, it said add some lemon. So I'm going to put this lemon in there. I'm going to put the camera back on me in a minute, but... I really want you to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a little lemon. It must do something because everybody said add lemon. Let me get a knife so I can cut up the... I'm going to get a knife so I can cut up the tomatoes because they are big too. Like I said, the ones my husband normally buy are not this big. So I don't know what this is all about. But I'm going to try them. And they already got some oil. So like I said, I'm not adding any more oil. I don't think I'm going to add any salt and pepper it to it either. No kind of seasonings because um, the salad dressing should have some salt in it. Okay. Some seasoning. So I don't want it to be too salty. So I'm just going to add this 
oily mix and it is oily quite frankly i'm a little nervous to add it because it's got so much oil hold on bring the camera back on me hold on yeah it has so much oil in it that i wasn't look at this can you see that look how much oil oh that is just making me sick to my stomach to think about putting that much oil in my body even though they say it's olive oil and it's supposed to be healthy and stuff, I don't, I don't, I just don't eat a lot of oil like that. I don't care what kind of oil it is. I don't think that's good. So they had this Dijon wrap in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the, on the kale. And that's going to soften it up because sometimes, you know, kale is hard, right? Crunchy. So I'm going to put this Dijon mayo wrap on it and I'm going to mix it all up. Look, that's how it kind of look when I buy it from the restaurant. The wrap I buy downtown is $20. Look, so I'm wrapping it all up. I mean, mixing it all up, rather. I didn't get to the wrapping yet. So we'll see what it's going to taste like. Let me taste the scent. Let me taste how it tastes right now, because if the mix don't taste good, then that means the wrap ain't going to be good. And I'm going to be going downtown Atlanta to get that wrap. <laughs> uh-huh. Mmm. It's really good. Now, it really is. I'm not just saying that. I'm going to put some more peppers. Because the one I get from downtown, that thing be on, on 100 with the spice. So this might be a lot of spice for you. You don't have to do that. But I really just wanted to make this wrap. And in the, in the bag, it has... Um, kale. Whew. Excuse me, y'all. This is live. So it has kale, broccoli, carrots, red cabbage, radicchio. Um, girl, this is good, y'all. So anyway, let me show y'all. I got my wrap. I'm going to mix it up a little bit more because I put all that pepper and spice, crushed red pepper. And I'm going to take one of my wraps. They feel nice. Nice. I'm going to heat it up. 30 seconds. Hold on. I'm not editing this, so be patient. And we're going to taste it together. But my inside tastes good. The inside, girl, I might be able to save $20. And now if I do my math on this wrap, this was one point. The salad was zero. Mmm, that's good, y'all. Hold on. The salad is zero. I need to check on the sun-dried tomatoes. I'm going to put the camera back so you can see it. Hold on. So you can see me wrap it. So I got the tortilla ready. Put the inside. Ooh, that spice is kicking in because I can feel it. Now, I didn't stuff it with a lot, but this is enough. Let me show you. Okay, so now we're going to wrap it. I'm going to try to wrap it like the experts do. Wrap. And this is not a big wrap either because, you know, they wrap it so big. Now, this is the thing. I don't know how to wrap it. But this is what it's going to do. This is what it, this is what we're going to do today. That look like a little wrap. Let me show you. Now I'm going to cut it like the experts do on TV. And let's see what it looks like. Now, I know I might be missing some ingredients. If you can come up with something, that's the finished product. If you can think of something, I'm going to put it back on me. Hold on. That I could put in this to make it taste better, let me know. So, I'm going to taste it. Let's see. Hey. I'm not going to lie. This is good. It's good, y'all. I got that crunch from the bacon bits. The sun-dried tomato gave it a little different taste. All the crunch from the carrot. Mmm. It's good. It's really good. My wrap is good. It really is. Mmm. I think I want to put some more bacon bits. 
because I like that crunch. Now, I do need to do the math on the baking bits. But, I am completely satisfied. Mmm. Look at that. I'm not kidding. And then that spinach wrap, it's called Ole Extreme. Extreme Wellness. Guys, I could eat this instead of going down there spending $20, plus I don't know what's in it. Mm. Okay. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to finish that. But, look for alternatives. That's the other point in this video today. Look for alternatives. Like y'all know, I love that rap. But the point was, I couldn't keep eating that. So I done made my own. And I got enough here for a few. Look at that. This has eight, so I can easily make more. I gotta go back in that spice, the spice. Mm. Now let me say this. Cause sometimes, if you like me, sorry for talking to eating. If you like me, I don't have recipes. I don't know what I want to make. And then I go out somewhere and I'm like, ooh, that's good. I keep going back spending my money. But this time, I'm saying I'm going to try to make it at home. That thing is good, y'all. I got the salad kit from Walmart. One more time. I got the salad. It's kale, pecan, cranberry. Already chopped up. Got the bacon bits. Sun-dried tomatoes. Already had oil, so I didn't add no more oil. I used a little bit of lemon. And the Extreme Olay tortilla. And I am loving my wrap. Well, I'm going to go so I can finish it. But if you go out to a restaurant and you find something that you like, go ahead and try to... See what's in that recipe. Break it down. What's in those ingredients? And you can go home and try to duplicate it for half the price and half the money. Because I'm loving this. All right. Until next time, guys. Healthy life with Kimmy. Bye.